Welcome again to Faith Over Fear for today. Pastor John here from Pinesburg. You know, as we go through our day and we live our day-to-day -day lives, the more we should realize that we all have likes and dislikes, and they're all different. We like or dislike different foods, different cars. People like just plain cars. People like sporty cars. We have a gentleman that visits the church different times. It's, it's a, a son of one of the people that attend all the time. It's a, one of our members. He has a Model T, and he comes every once in a while when it's warm in the summer. He'll come to church in it, and everybody will make a big deal over it. And it, it's it's a fun thing. Some people like cars that will go to 100, go to 150 miles an hour, though the only legal speed limit you can go in this area is 70. If you go over 70, you're breaking the law. You know, people will like or dislike different pets. I I'm not I don't have anything against them, but I'm I'm not a cat person. I like. I like dogs and fish and different things, I guess. People like different sports. People wear different different style of clothing. They have favorite places they go on vacation. And the same is true with opinions. Don't we get asked all the time what our opinion is on this and that? I was talking today with, with, with my son and the thing of the Kanye West thing came up as one of the biggest controversies that's going on right now. And preacher, I was asked this week, what's, what's your opinion on this Kanye West concerts and the church service and all that stuff that's going on? It can't be real, can it? Let me, let me first make a few statements. One is, the same Savior that I have is the same Savior that's available to everybody. There's no, there's no, uh, there's no different Christ. There's no different way to heaven if you live in, if you live in uh, California, or if you live in Hawaii, or if you live in Pinesburg. There's no different God. It's all the same God. Nobody, secondly... I tell our people this all the time. Nobody is so bad that you can't find some good in them. And nobody is so good that you can't find some bad in them. It's just the way it is. It's a fact of life. So as for Mr. West, and saying that it can't be real, can it? I say, why can't it be real? Why can't it be real? The fact is, Jesus, all through the, all through the Bible... We use anyone that's willing to be used, and I think I'm proof of that, and you're proof of that if you're a Christian. One of the most popular songs in their hymnal starts out, Just as I am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me, and that thou bidst me come to thee, O Lamb of God, I come. You know, you see, a person doesn't have to change a thing in his life to, to come to Christ. You don't have to, you don't have to give up a habit. You don't have to give up a friend. You don't have to give up a certain thing. Not, not Nothing. You don't have to change anything. Christ says, you come first, and I'll do the changing. Let me take care of the changing part. You take care of the coming part, and I'll, I'll, I'll take care of my part. I, um, I tell our church people, you know, the Bible says, let me, let me get this in. The Bible says in Psalm 44, 21, David writes, Shall not God search this out? For he knoweth the secrets of the heart. Think about that. He knoweth the secrets of the heart. What you're, what you're thinking right now. God knows what you're thinking. Where you're at in your life right now. God knows where you're at. I tell our church people all the time. I'm the only person in the whole world that's absolutely positively sure that I'm going to heaven. I'm the only one. Now, I believe there are a whole bunch of other people. But I can't, I can't know your heart like God does. I know my heart, and I hope you know your heart and that, and that your heart is ready, for, ready to meet the Lord. So with that in mind, I say to the question of uh, Kanye West, it, it absolutely can be true. But they said he has, he has a past. Yeah, for sure. And you do too. 
and I do also. I do know this. My Bible says that we should know that, that, that you shall know Christian by their fruit. The fruit of a Christian, according to the Word of God, is another Christian. It's inviting someone to church. It's leading them to the Lord. It's, it's living our best. It's trying to live a perfect life. We'll never get there. Not here, anyhow. But it's, it's becoming more perfect today than it was yesterday. And when tomorrow comes, I'm more perfect than it was today. Um, the fact is, we need to pray for everyone to be a Christian. That's why heaven was made. And then for that Christian to get busy for Christ. And I know this also, it's, it's exciting to see excitement toward the person of Christ. You know, we go to football games, we hoop and holler like Comanche Indians. Just, just get teetotally excited. Jump up and down and throw stuff around. And I've seen people throw, throw their beverages up in the air and after they just paid $45 to get them probably. You know? You get that excited over, a, over people throwing a pig up and down the field. And we can't get excited about the things of Christ. Let's, let's, just, let's just all get busy for him. Let's just let me get busy and let you get busy. And not worry so much about the next guy, what, what he's doing or what he's thinking. Let, let him take care of himself to a certain extent. And because there's, there's a whole heap of stuff to do bunch of people to talk to and the fact is time will prove out whether whether it's real or not I've heard people witnessing that they had been to one of the services and that they give their heart to the Lord Jesus Christ they never stepped foot inside a church before the fact is if just one person comes to Christ anything's worth it without a doubt I'd like to I'd like to see your thoughts Leave, leave, me, leave me a message. Drop, drop us a line. I'd love to know what you're thinking about it. So until we're together again, have a great day and get busy for Christ. God bless.